Recoil is the one element of shooting a firearm that cannot be measured until now. With the X10, what we have done is we have added an element of recoil analysis, we call it the recoil meter, that will allow you to measure the recoil of the gun as you're shooting. Each gun shooter combination is going to be a little bit different in how that shooter is able to manage the recoil of the gun. Every follow-up shot after the first one is dependent upon recoil management. How fast you can get that next shot on target Depends on your trigger press, yes, but also depends on how well you can control the muzzle rise of the gun and effectively get the gun back on target. So the best way to see how this works is I'm gonna take a couple shots. I got a Glock 19 here and a Glock 21, and I'm gonna shoot each of these. We also have a light. We're gonna, we're gonna kind of compare exactly what that will do as well to the recoil of the gun, and I'll show you how it displays all the information in the app. I'm gonna connect this up to the Mantis, the X10. We'll start with the Glock 19. Now there's four different metrics we're looking at. We're looking at recovery time, muzzle rise, recoil width, and recoil angle. And I'll explain what each of those are after we do some shooting. So looking at the app, as I mentioned, that first metric that we're looking at is recovery time. How fast do you come back steady on the target? My average recovery time for those 10 shots was 0.28 seconds. I'm curious to see how that will compare to the Glock 21. Average muzzle rise was 15.23 degrees, and that's measuring from where the shot broke to the peak of your recoil. My average recoil width was 0.499 degrees. What we're doing there is we're measuring if you're looping around, which it's, it's very likely that there will be some, if you will, looping, how wide is that? Obviously, we want that to be as skinny as possible. And then a recoil angle. As you make that loop, we're averaging those points and we're saying what, what angle did the gun recoil at? My average recoil angle was point, or excuse me, negative 4.09 degrees. And we want that to be as vertical as possible. So that's the Glock 19. Let's go ahead and switch over and shoot the Glock 21. My average recovery time, let's see, with the Glock 21 was 0.34 seconds. So it was higher. That's about a tenth of a second longer, if I recall correctly. Muzzle rise, interestingly, average muzzle rise was 17.56 degrees. So a little bit higher, two degrees, roughly two degrees more on the muzzle rise. I think I try to control the Glock 21 a little more just instinctually, because I know it's a higher caliber. So there's a possibility there that I was putting a little more isometric tension on the gun. Recoil width of 5.47 degrees and a recoil angle of minus 5.87. So I tend to recoil a little bit to the left hand side. Let's do it one more time with the Glock 21 and I'm just gonna, if you will, limp wrist it. I'm just gonna kind of let the gun go wild and let's take a look at that. Okay, let's see, my average muzzle rise there was 34 degrees. So that was, that was quite an increase. So what you can do is as you're shooting, as you're training to, to manage your recoil better, you can say, okay, I'm gonna grip the gun tighter or I'm gonna change my grip or I'm gonna change my stance and see exactly what that does, not only to your shots down range, to where you're striking the target, but what's happening with my management of the recoil of the gun. The last thing that we wanted to do, that I wanted to do here today is compare the Glock 19 as it is, standard, and then add a weapon mounted light and see what that does to the recoil. Switch over to the Glock 19. And for this, I have to use, since I'm gonna have a weapon light on the rail, I'm gonna have to put it on the floor plate of the magazine. And we sell these adapters on our website. So I'm gonna take, I think I got enough in for eight shots of each. So I'm gonna take eight shots as it is without the light. We're gonna look at that and then I'll take eight more shots with the light attached. So those eight shots, my average muzzle rise was 18.96 degrees. So it was a little bit higher than the last time I shot it. Just wasn't holding the gun as tight, wasn't controlling the gun quite as well. We'll add the light and see what that does to it.
the average muzzle rise was 13.66 degrees. So that's a five degree decrease in the average muzzle rise of the gun. And we would expect that by adding weight to the gun, especially out near the muzzle end. So this is the recoil meter from Mantis X. We are extremely excited about this and we are confident that it will help you in your ability to improve your marksmanship. <laughs>